Hey guys, Matt from Eastwood. We're here at my home garage. We're gonna do a quick little project for you guys. So I've been working on my Model T project that you guys uh, have heard about in a bunch of these short little videos in my shop. And I'm at the point now where I'm starting to clean up all the parts and, and get all the small things uh, cleaned up, painted, polished, and looking nice just like the body and the chassis now is. So what I have is uh, pretty much all vintage parts with the car that I'm building. So a lot of these parts are from the 1930s, 40s, 50s, and uh, they have some wear to them, they have some corrosion, and uh, to get them looking as nice as the body, I need to do a little bit of restoration work on them. So I have a set of old Edelbrock block letter uh, finned heads for the engine that uh, they have a bit of wear and tear on them, they have multiple paint jobs, and I wanna get them cleaned up. So I'm gonna go a step beyond with these than just restoring them, and we're gonna actually mirror polish the outside ridges of it, um, and we're gonna polish the actual fins and then also the lettering. So I'm gonna show you guys some tricks and tips along the way for doing this type of work. I'm gonna turn these old tired heads into something that are show worthy. So let's get started. All right, so I got the heads all sprayed and I peeled the tape off and everything like you saw. And I let them sit for like 48 hours so that uh, all the paint was nice and cured. I didn't have to worry about any of the paint being soft or anything like that. It's nice and cured and everything's just about done. Now the last thing we need to do is I need to get the little bit of paint that, and primer that's on the face of the letters. I need to get that removed. I wasn't able to accurately 
uh, tape the face of the letters. I was a little worried that the tape wasn't going to set right or it was going to uh, cause an issue with the paint. So I left them uncovered and sprayed over them. So now what I'm going to do is take uh, the little mini block sanders that we offer here. I'm going to take one of these with some 600 grit paper that's included with it where you can use uh, extra paper if you have it. It's just PSA backed. And this has a little backer on it so it will stick the PSA paper to it. We could set it down nice and flat and I could carefully work back and forth on the face of the letters just sanding that and I should be able to slowly knock the paint off of this and I can come back with some polishing compound and take the slight haze from the 600 grit uh, off of there or we can even go up to 800, 1200, 1500 if you want. Um, but I should be able to do six or 800, get it pretty shiny and then probably rub it out so that it looks pretty good. So uh, I'll throw some paper on here and we'll get this sanded. All right, so I got the last little bit of polishing done on the letters on the head, and I am really happy with how everything came out. These heads look amazing. The polish parts around the outside and the fins and also the lettering are basically a mirror polish and look a million times better than what we started with, especially considering these heads are probably from the 1940s, 1950s. They came out really awesome. Uh, now it's hard to get on camera how glossy the high gloss engine uh, black paint is. It's close to a mirror black. So any of you guys that are doing uh, work where you're trying to match powdered and, and painted parts in your engine bay, uh, our mirror black powder, which is one of my favorites, is a close match to this. But this is going to hold up to the high temps of an engine, so you can use it on heads, you know, engine blocks and different parts like that. You're not going to have any issues with the paint breaking down, and then you can also use some uh, mirror black powder to match your brackets and different things like that that might be high wear items. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and this quick little project showing how you can restore a set of old aluminum cylinder heads and how you can do it at home with just a handful of Eastwood products. To see more about all the products that I used in this video, you can click the link down below or you can visit eastwood.com to get all the tools you need to do the job right. Thanks guys, catch you later.